Hello guys, I am Lisa from Gem Pages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, Gem Pages 101. Looking to boost average order value? Try offering product bundles for your landing page. Bundling multiple products or services into a single package is a common sales strategy called bundle upselling. There are two common approaches to bundle layouts, a three column setup and a stacked version for bundles with various product variants. The former is the crowd blazer because it can provide more details on the product. Ready to dive in? This video has your back, showing you how to whip up an amazing three column bundle that'll sell like hotcakes. Gem Pages offers three different ways to create a three column bundle. I will start guiding you using the essential elements. Add a row element and set it to full width for better display. Then you can customize it with your brand color and check to make sure it looks good on tablets and mobile devices. Increase the margin and padding in advanced settings You can easily add headings by dragging these elements from the left sidebar. Next, edit the content. If you copy content from another source with a different format, hit the Remove Format button to clear formatting. Configure the spacing and check how it looks on other devices. Gem Pages offers various layouts to suit the number of bundles you want to offer. In this case, I will drag and drop a three column row element. Turn off full width and decrease the column gap. Switch to another screen and set configure these settings accordingly. To save time, I will optimize settings for one specific column and then duplicate it. Add a one column row element to a column. Configure the setting for this element by changing color. Removing the bottom margin, I will click the center of the spacing setting to set a synchronized padding value for all, setting the corner for better display. Remember to check and configure appropriate settings for other screen sizes as well. Next, I will drag and drop a product element which can be found via this search bar. Pick a product and let's adjust the default elements. For the heading, I will rearrange its position. I'll simplify the bundle display by removing unnecessary elements. Configure settings like font size, change the text color, center align, remove the margin in advanced setting, switch to other devices, and make adjustments if needed. I will add a line element for decorative purposes. Change its color, remove full width, and set a specific width. Center a line and adjust spacing. Next, customize the product tag to give customers more information on the deal. I'll adjust the text font size, weight, and color. Change the background color, then center align and configure spacing in advanced settings. Lastly, I will check how it looks on other screen types. About the product image, I will only do some spacing settings. Next is the price element, which has two prices displayed as default. So I will change the layout in a row element to a three column layout. I want to add a product tag for more impression to the last column and make adjustments. Configure settings like font size, font weight, and color. Check on the other screen. I will set the type of price in either original or compare and configure a line through a price as the demo. You can choose to display the amount of money saved or the discount percentage. I will choose the currency type for the product tag and change it to text to make it clearer for customers. 
Finally, configure settings like font size and color. You can set the border and its size. In advanced settings, remove the padding. Remember to check on other screen types. Now we have a price, sale price, and price tag. Separate two elements with a line element. Set to full width and reconfigure spacing. And highlighting bundle benefits by adding an icon list with adjusted spacing and style. After this, I will duplicate the icon to save time on element setup. By default, GemPage's product element has two buttons, including a product dynamic checkout and a product cart button. Remove the former and configure the setting for the later. And inside space to large. Check on mobile for a harmonious look. The task of creating a model is now complete. Next, duplicate the entire column, then customize the details based on the product bundle. Lastly, double check on mobile devices, especially the spacing between columns. A much faster way to create a product bundle is to use GemPages pre-made section. Head to the GemPages library and tick on Quantity Upsell and Combo Discount. Or you can also search for Bundle on the search bar and click the Add to Page button. That's a pre-built bundle section that enables you to customize endlessly. Another way to create product bundles for your store is using Bundle third-party applications integrated with GemPages. The last way to create product bundles is using our product list element. In this option, you can set the number of products per row. However, this option prevents you from configuring individual settings for each row. Here's a simple way to create your own product bundle. Feel free to build upon it, adding more charm and details, just like the cool examples we highlighted at the start of the video. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.